<clears throat> Hello everybody, I'm actually here, I'm Shay Amir Dapitri, um, I mean those are two different names, but you know it's the same deal. Anyway, I'm here to try to explain to you um, how to make a, uh, a move to Atlanta specifically on very limited money and still be successful with that move. So uh, this will include you having to probably change your diet specifically if you are the type of person who um, who eats really healthily. Um, I mean, of course, if you have enough money to do it, and by enough money, I mean like saved up at least like three thousand dollars to get you through every possible turn that could ever come then there's that but this is for those people that are trying to make a quick move um one way or another and also because uh yeah you got to think about everything so here it goes um basically uh, everything you have to think about is transportation uh you got to think about finding a job if you don't already have one you got to think about your food you got to think about um your lodging right so i have a few recommendations for these things in particular um one of them would be where i stayed um for the first part would be uh an extended stay unless you can stay with a friend and that's even better like if you can stay with a friend that helps take care of a lot of things even though you still should pay your friend okay still pay your friend but um it's a situation where you stay at uh 6067 Buford Highway to in in town suites and uh their moving special is actually 257 a week <clears throat> which is unheard of because if you don't know the uh price for living in Atlanta is pretty high especially in terms of apartments so um you've got that and then also you know, we can move on to transportation right so oh 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 <sighs> You didn't see that. You didn't hear that. Alright, so in terms of transportation, there is a bus and a train that leads to anywhere and everywhere you need to be in town. So, um, that's something that is a pro. A uh, con is that it pay, it costs a lot. Like, it's like 250 to go one direction. Granted, uh, you can go about four or five buses in that direction. Um, so <clears throat> if you're going somewhere one way specifically 250 will get you far if you're trying to go back the other way it costs you five dollars okay that's significant aside from that um, you've got food that you have to think about right so what I ended up having to do was go like really cheapo like go to the um, the dollar store and you know pick up meat and meat items and like chip items and stuff like that that'll le lend to you eating for a significant amount of time uh, I also um, have been supplementing um, aside from making sure that I have like some type of caffeinated drink so I can get up in the morning whether it be a coffee um, like some type of monster um, specifically like protein monsters which I mean the more you can get um, a one for two or one for three deal in food or anything else the better because then you have like you're taking care of more than one need at once um, but I also um, supplement with my probiotics right now I'm on uh, it's pro x10 is from BioTrust. Um, they sent me a free sample so I don't know if they're still doing that for people but um, it's been very helpful to make sure that I've been regular since I haven't been eating uh, vegetables like I usually do um, I definitely love my um, leafy greens and my whatever all the greens um, I love everything that has to do with vegetables except for beets beets are nasty um, anyway um, so this helps me with my current um, bread and non-vegetable diet because I'm still I'm still getting out of the loop but I've already figured out a lot of good things so um, yeah probiotics make sure I'm regular in terms of not being coming constipated in this amount of time that would be really really negligent of me if I did that and then I've got these hydroxy cuts the um, basically it's a situation where uh, if I run out of caffeinated drink uh, or if I just want like extended energy I just take a hydroxy cut and um, pretty much it'll make sure that I make it through all of the hours that I need to make it through in a day especially if I'm working that day or something 
like getting up and then uh, I should mention that I also have uh, ADHD so um, like getting up is an issue for me usually so um, I usually I like to take some type of caffeine um, to help me just get up and have a regular day ie um, ADHD, people with ADHD, if you connect our brains up to a brainwave machine, it will have the same brainwaves as a sleeping person. My theory on that is that that's a good thing because that means we're walking dreamers, which is like totally the epitome of somebody that's fully in control of their destiny. <laughs> right? Okay. All right. So anyway, um, the last tip. Um, and this one is really important, especially if you, you should come with that minimum of thousand um, dollars. That'll set you up for a few weeks with lodging and then you still have a little extra money left over to try to figure out your way around the city and figure out like different places. Um, if you don't have at minimum a thousand dollars, like I started off with 600 don't ask me why I started off so low it's a long story like it's a long story just like follow me follow me here like my growth is inevitable but at this point in time I started off with $600 because I thought I was cool like that um, yeah there's this place called uh, there's two actually one is called pace setters and one is called staff zone and each one of those they provide a uh, same day pay job opportunities what does that mean that means you go in you work and then you get paid the same day in cash and you get paid uh depending on which job you get um whether it's just a skilled labor job or whether it's a, a regular labor job it can start from uh eight or nine and go up to like 12 to 14 an hour right so it's pretty cool because then in that way you're in control of your um your budget you're in control of your food budget and your transportation budget so anyway that's all i really had to say i just was uh, giving like a starter's guide to uh moving to this city in particular i gave a few specifics so uh, make sure that you press the like button also make sure i don't know if they do the, the things anymore on the screen but make sure <laughs> you uh, check out some of my music and some of my uh, other stuff on my channel. That'd be great. Uh, anyway, Shay Amir Dapatry, aka Amir Dapatry, aka Adap. Follow me. I'm saucy like that. Bow. Pirates of the Cloud Nine. Nine. Yeah. Ready with the Cloudy Haze. Praying to God I get to this next level. Level. level So I can clean it up and change my ways Main girl lost faith in me